going to go through and tell you about some keyboard shortcuts built into Windows because I've found uh, some people are actually interested in some of the shortcuts I've shown in some other videos. So I'm going to go through and first um, explain a couple keys on your keyboard and instead of taking a horrible shaky webcam pick I'm going to uh, basically show you on a virtual keyboard. A um, couple keys I'm going to talk about. Um, you have your control key down here. Um, next to that's going to be the Windows key, or sometimes called the Start key, or a Microsoft key. Some people call it. I call it the Windows key because it's got the little Microsoft Windows logo. And then you have your Alt key. And then there's this little key here. Um, some people call it the shortcut menu key. Um, some people refer to it as a right click key even though that's not really quite what it does. And of course you have another function key right by it. And uh, some laptops have a function key on them. The one how it works in this on screen keyboard is completely different than that but they're usually labeled the same way FN and usually you click that FN key, hold it down, and then your series of function keys at the top of your keyboard, there's another set of icons right under them or to the side of them for what they actually do. Uh, sometimes it's turning off your wireless uh, card in your laptop, uh, sometimes it's switching your monitor, things like that. So that one I'm not going to go into on this one, but just so you know if you see FN on your keyboard and you're using a laptop that's going to be for this extra functionality uh, that's actually on your function keys you know F1, F2, F3 so on um, you just have to look on the icon for that and see what it does so what I want to cover here as far as shortcuts it's going to be general Windows shortcuts I'm going to try and keep it a little bit uh, on the generic side here for you um, so first thing I want to start with this little shortcut menu here uh, pretty much whenever you have something selected uh, it is going to do like the equivalent of a right click so you press that uh, like in this word pad document you see I instantly get the uh, shortcut menu just the same as if I right click in it does the same thing um, you can also get a right click by holding down shift and pressing F10 that does the same thing as a right click uh, if you want to go through and do some uh, easy editing uh, in any documents that you have let me go ahead and write something here a uh, very common thing uh, go through and select stuff like I just did there so you can hold down shift and your arrow keys you know left arrow right arrow uh, you can go through and select text as long as you're holding shift and one of those arrow keys it'll start highlighting in that direction um, same thing if you have text that goes down you can hold down shift and the up or down arrow same thing with page up page down uh, it'll select text in that direction so that's a good way for selecting a block of text without having to go through and uh, take your hand off the keyboard if I go through and write a couple words here you can hold down control and use your left or right uh, arrows and it'll jump between words you can combine that with the shift uh, that I just told you about that will let you go through and highlight entire words real quick and easy uh, that also works uh, for entire lines uh, holding shift going down with that I think I just went over that too <laughs> um, you can go through and do editing as far as bold italic underline so you can hold down control and B as you see you get bold there you can do the same thing again to unbold it uh, italics control I underline control U 
I'm trying to get the keyboard on the screen here so you can actually see these as they go through. And I'm hoping you're seeing the same thing I am. And like I said, Control I, Control U works for uh, bolding, unbolding, uh, italicizing, untalicizing, doing the key combinations for those. Um, one that's often commonly overlooked nowadays just pressing F1 on your keyboard uh, to bring up help that works in pretty much any application um, nowadays almost all help is online so they either just open up their web page or nothing happens uh, if you don't have the Microsoft key on your keyboard uh, you can use control and escape to actually make your start menu pop up you press that pops up same thing as hitting the windows key um, using the control and escape combination doesn't work for the next set of stuff I'm going to go through and tell you um, you can't use control and escape in replacement of holding down the windows key and any of these combinations I want to give you here uh, so if you hold down the windows key and press R you get your run dialog box if you hold down the windows key and then press F uh, you actually can start doing a search if you hold down the windows key and press M everything gets minimized it's basically the same as going straight to your desktop uh, windows logo and E uh, brings up your Windows Explorer. You hold down the Windows key and tab. Uh, this is only going to work with Vista and 7. Uh, you end up with the. Um, uh, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> um, the Windows Flip 3D interface, uh, if you hold that down. If you hold uh, Alt and Tab, you basically can switch between your programs. Um, press Tab, it goes through and switches between each individual one. Uh, sh this is a little short one for computer text. You can hold down Windows key and then press Break. And this brings up your security information, or uh, system information. Sorry, Saul. There's a couple here I can't really show you too well, but if you hold down Windows key and press L, that will lock your computer. Uh, so if you're using like Windows Professional, something like that, you can actually lock your computer so nobody can come up and just use it. They have to put in your password. Um, Windows key and P uh, brings up uh, with Windows 7 your uh, projector options. So if you want to go through and extend your display, multi, it's, some people call it projector properties, some call it multi-monitor properties. Um, so you can extend your display to something else, duplicate it, projector only, yada yada yada. That's really useful only for laptops. You can use the tab key to navigate between uh, different text fields or data entry fields in a program. So right now I can see my cursor is up here in my address bar. If I press tab, it'll actually switch over to my uh, Google box over here for searching. And I press tab again, it starts bringing me down here. Tab brings me in here and keeps on going uh, through any and all fields uh, in whatever program you're using. A couple more editing shortcuts for you. If you hold down uh, control and A you select everything in your uh, text box or text field that you're in uh, of course if you're uh, navigating you can hit either backspace or delete and it'll delete everything out of there when you do that uh, or just simply press any key and it replaces it uh, with whatever you just typed uh, if you go through and do a control Z that's an undo. A control Y redos. 
if you want to um, have control over your um, clipboard you have control X for cut control V to paste and you have control C to copy so I can go through and paste all day long with that without having to really take my hands off the keyboard ever it really makes it easy instead of click 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 with the mouse and that's pretty much it um, probably going to have to edit the video a little bit to get these in because I went on my normal talking too much spree but I uh, hope you guys were able to enjoy this and find some of these key combinations useful. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.